corporate America is a, um, let's see, uh, <laughs> uh, difficult place to um, uh, manage your life uh, if you end up having to parent, if you have to caretake an elderly parent, if you are uh, trying to blend all the aspects of your life, that the rigidity of corporate America is not a place, and I think that's in many ways a lot of the women that I've talked to, once again, kind of on the street, that I talk to say, you know, like, I have to go out and start my own thing because I cannot survive in corporate America. And I get, I'm like, I get it. So uh, does corporate America need to change or do women need to go off and just do their own thing? Corporate America, we're stuck at 16%, right? We have 60% leadership. Um, some call it a glass ceiling, as you know, and others call it a thick layer of men, but we are stuck there at 16%. <laughs> And, and, and what's, what's really amazing, though, is that women are rising through the ranks um, very rapidly up until that top, top position. Mm -hmm. And so, again, you know, I'm coming from corporate America, and I truly believe um, that women have this incredible ability to unleash change within corporate America, which is needed. Uh, you talk about caregiving, for example, and mm -hmm. the fact that the school day is 9 to 3 and the work day is 9 to 7. That's a design flaw, right? Nobody in corporate America wins when that happens. Not men, not women, not children. Nobody wins. But because things so what been, is it? what should it do? Well, here's the thing. We've been designing things from one perspective, right? Because we haven't been in those leadership positions. And so I think what's happening naturally is that as women are ascending, they're helping to redesign the way we work and the way we live. But what's, what's really interesting is that you can get very frustrated, as you just alluded to, in corporate America. And I had that experience um, early in my career where I was uh, working with some clients, let's say, and I'm a corporate lawyer by training, and uh, one evening my clients thought it would be really fun to go to a club um, after celebrating a deal, but it wasn't sort of my kind of club, but I didn't know that until I got there. And uh, the next morning I called my mother first, and then I called my feminist jurisprudence professor, and I said, something's gone terribly wrong in my life. I went to law school to help women and girls, but last night I got dragged to this club, and what am I gonna do? So she had really great advice. She said, you know, Kim, we have a lot of people knocking on the door from the outside, but we don't have a lot of people on the inside. And if you keep going, you seem to have a talent for corporate, so why don't you keep going and see what you can do? And I tell you, that was really, really insightful because we need women on the inside making change so that we can share our perspectives about how things should and can work. And I really do believe, uh, this is a very optimistic book, as you know, because I do believe that we are just on the cusp of that. You know, 60% of millennials want purpose in their work. They want work-life balance. It's not just a women's issue. So I think women, though, are opening up the conversation, and I do think corporate America can, and I do think it will change.